compact bed columns are being used to bring gaseous and liquid media in contact with each other in order to perform reactions of mass and or heat transfer. Normally, the liquid travels vertically down the column while the gas passes the packed bed vertically upwards as a counter current flow. The primary function of the packing is to provide a greater surface area to enhance the residual time between the liquid and the gas. For this purpose, the packing should have the following properties. Maximized specific surface area, low pressure drop of the gas passing through, mechanical structural strength, chemically inert to the reacting media, integrity at maximum design temperature, and good performance price ratio. In some cases, further requirements, such as resistance against fouling or an extended load range, may be additional features. This feature film illustrates the flow conditions inside a packed bed column under different load conditions. In the beginning, we can see the column operating within the designed load range. The intensive blending of gas and liquid, which provides best reacting conditions, is shown very well. The downstream liquid is being held up by the gas flowing upstream. Due to this, the res residence time of the media inside the packing is extended. Increasing the liquid throughput, the so-called flooding point will be reached eventually. At the flooding point, the liquid is prevented from draining in some areas of the packing, while in other areas the liquid is draining off as a single phase flow. In response to this liquid behavior, the gas is concentrated in other regions of the packing. This disintegration of the reacting media leads to a declined mass transfer. When the liquid volumetric flow rate is furthermore increased, the packing will no longer be static inside as a fixed bed, but will start to shift positions, sometimes violently. Damaged packing due to mechanical stress can result in these situations. When this happens, the packing may pass out of the column and block the downstream plant components if they were not fixed in place by a whole down grid. A similar scenario may arise if the gas volumetric flow rate is increased beyond the normal operating point, causing damage to the vessel, the internals, and similarly to downstream components.